Hello everyone, it's Rex and Christina here to do our first daily dispatch for Octoberland, call it Octoberland Daily Dispatch, where we answer questions about the album or about the armoires or about the experience recording or songwriting, whatever anyone wants to know. And we'll be uh, inviting every member of the band is going to contribute. Uh, we'll be telling you a little bit more about this little world that we've created here. Um, and there's going to be some special guests, some surprises, uh, broadcasts from uh, uh, some of the locations that are key to the album. Anyways, every day we'll be uh, revealing a little bit more about what it went into this record that we spent a long time on. Yeah, and we're even trying out TikTok if you're a fan. <laughs> so uh, come join us for the ride. As we say, we are the armoires. A singular sound. And we're probably still messing around. <laughs> See you tomorrow. We have to really it. So what you may ask is Octoberland, or where is Octoberland? Um, and I, I hope every member of the band will answer this question without knowing what anyone else said because they'll all probably have different ideas and they'll all be right and and anyone who listens to it or to gleans whatever uh it means to them out of the album will also be right uh it's clearly a place that's a a, a destination that we sing about in several songs we talk about october as a month and, and various other sort of autumnal things as well um and I want to say this is this is a this is a kind of a place that the term just kind of arrived as Christina and I were writing this album uh, as a destination, and uh, I feel like it's it wouldn't be right to call it a utopia. It's not a place where everything's great, but it also relates to this thing that we talk about in Ridley and Me After the Apocalypse, where we say we're fighting for the future of the artistocracy. I feel like it's a, a place where um, the artistic impulse, uh, empathy. The empathy that feels that uh, is is more a part of the way people interact with each other and solve problems than it is in the world that we we have currently. And uh, October, I, I'm just partial to it. Fall's my favorite season, but I think being the month of Halloween is kind of a key aspect of it because that's the time of year when grown-ass adults are allowed to work on a creative project and everyone sort of accepts it. So that sort of spirit of uh, Halloween creativity uh, combined with just the fact that Christina and I wrote this whole record in late September, early October, and we were feeling that Southern California autumnal vibe, uh, that, that makes it October land. And whatever Octoberland is to you, you're right as well. Octoberland. So Christina, you've got a copy of Octoberland right there. And Octoberland is not just the title, it's something that's in the lyrics numerous times, that and just October itself. What or where is Octoberland to you? Oh, Octoberland is that place you build in your mind where you go for solace, for joy, for company. It's where animals roam the earth with the humans and the seasons change depending on your mood. Um, it's where you want to bring all of your dearest friends and family into to experience with them. Um, it's a world you build to escape but also to share, I think. So John, we are asking every band member this question. Uh, the record's named Octoberland. It's a little thing that we mention every once in a while. What and or where to you is Octoberland? Oh, what or where? I you know, just hearing October brings me back to, of course, fall and, and Halloween. And when my kids were young and I used to take them out trick-or-treating, I was always the one out there with them going up and down all the streets in the neighborhood. And so that's kind of what I think of when I think of October. It takes me back to when my kids were young. It was a really, really, really cool time. 
So, Octoberland is a fictional place evoked in a few of the songs. What does it mean to you? Hmm. I think it represents a kind of whimsical, autumnal feeling, like when you start to notice the end of summer and the fall breezes start coming in and it kind of gives you a little chill, some goosebumps, and you start to feel like the world is going to slow down and settle in a little bit. So Cliff, what do you feel like has uh, changed in the armoires since the early days? There's, you've been playing for, uh, for us for uh, almost 10 years at this point and uh, four albums. So what from the early days to Octoberland feels different? Um, well, different personnel. Uh, of course, makes a person play a little differently, or you have to listen differently to play with different people. Uh, I, I mean, I like the fact that the songs have, will change each album anyway. Uh, that's not necessarily a factor of time changing things a lot, except that I guess the sequence of one album to the next and group of songs <laughs> happens over the course of time. Uh, I've also uh, maybe gotten a little bit better at bass. I'm, a, I'm a, a converted guitar player. I don't even know if I'm converted, really, but I'm, uh, I'm exploring. One of my probably most memorable contributions will be the title of this album. Uh, it was originally going to be like one of the last few things they've done where for whatever reason they've been using these strange like Italian words like the bald one uh, and I, I just found that perplexing and this one they were going to call Sfacciata and I don't remember that's also Italian I think it means something like you know machismo or yeah we're gonna we got this or you know, hell yeah or something along those lines I don't know and it's not a bad title but as we started working on it and I, I noticed the word Octoberland came up a couple times and it just uh, I remember uh, working on the vocals for that song and uh they just finished putting on their last bit of harmony and their last bit of singing and they went outside to have a cigarette and I said I know some I know what to do and I went up and just did like this big harmony stack on the word Octoberland and I'm like that that's the thing and uh, you know did it in kind of like a a big um, carpenter's wash uh, and I said, check this out, guys. And I'm waiting for them to go, oh, that's not us. And I played it, and it's just this big... And they're like, yeah, cool. And I'm like, awesome. And then later on, I said, you know, that's really what this album is. That's like, that's the... You mentioned it a couple times. At the very end, one of the last things you say is like, you know, come visit us in Octoberland. And... Uh, I go, that's a way better title for this thing than Shabbat or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> and uh, later, the next day, they were like, yep, we think that's a good idea. So there it is. That's probably the most important thing I did. <laughs> 